Hey, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great, trying to enjoy the nice weather before it leaves. And then forgot that I'm pre-filming this video, so by the time it comes out, these will all be inside. That doesn't matter. Time for an update video. I have been getting asked over the last probably couple of years to do an update on my philodendron bipinatifidum, now thematophyllum bipinatifidum. Back in 2017, I did a few videos on these plants, really just a couple. One of them just on the general care, how to grow them, what I do with them. And then a couple months later, I did another one where I went in and divided one up. And then the next year in 2018, I did another one where I just repotted the plant because I think I'd been getting a lot of questions about how to do so. And here we are four years later and here it is. That's the plant. That, that's what it's doing. I haven't done much with this plant. It's just one of those house plants that's so sturdy that sometimes their care can get pushed to the back burner because you just know that it's going to be okay until one day it isn't. It's a thing a lot of us gardeners do. We really shouldn't do it. It's not a good habit to have, but well, here we are. There has been a good amount of growth that's come out of it. It just needs to be repotted, right? The thing with these thematophyllums, the bipinatifidums, they produce their best foliage, nice, big, large leaves when they have a large pot to spread those roots out in. And well, this, it's not in a very big pot. It was a good enough pot for when I potted it up, but here we are. A few years later, not so much the case anymore. I haven't done any more dividing on it. I don't want the base to fill out too much. So as those offshoots start to pop up, I may take some of those off. I don't know, we'll see. So over the last few years, it's just been hanging out with the rest of the plants. I did have it in a spot where it was getting an awful lot of shade, more shade than I would normally give it. I'm not normally that picky about its location because like I mentioned, they're just such sturdy plants. I do avoid afternoon sun though, because with all this pavement, that can be a bit much, can turn things into an oven when it gets really hot out here. But this year I stuck it back in a corner that just wasn't quite bright enough for it. I mean, the plant's okay. It's doing all right, but the foliage down low has some discoloration in there. You can see there's some old leaf bases getting ready to pop out. It's also, we've had some chilly nights that'll discolor the foliage as well, but I think this is more of a nitrogen situation, don't you think? Potentially nitrogen and iron actually. So it does need to be repotted. This is not the time of year for that though. My concern is that if I were to repot this right now, then what that would potentially just rot during the winter time in the growth space, because it's going to have all that soil sitting around the roots that's just going to hold onto water. I don't know. It's been pretty good so far. <laughs> it is very breezy out here, but it's like the last sunny day I have left to film, so it's got to push forward. During the winter time, I keep this in my grow space in the garage in a spot that gets just some natural light from a window, and I don't really go overboard with anything with it because it just hangs out, which wouldn't really jive very well with a freshly repotted plant. If I were to repot this right now, then I would need to get this into a location where it's going to get a good amount of light because it'll be artificial lighting for the most part and stay pretty warm. I don't really feel like messing with all that. So what I will do when I take the plant in, what I do with almost all the plants when I take them is I give them a little top dress, just a little bit of compost and that'll do it. That should be fine. I'll probably also add some slow release in there as well. And then in the springtime, this is on the top of my list for repots as well as another plant, the hibiscus that's over here. That's also on the top of the list for the repot. Ooh, those shadows. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot to it. Like I said, I haven't had to do much with the plant because it's just a sturdy plant. Clearly, there's some neglect in there when you see that it needs some more nutrient, but that's a really easy thing to correct. I'm not worried about it. It's still been growing and seemingly very happy and healthy though not as fast of growth as would get had it been repotted in the spring, it's still doing fairly well. I mean, for three and a half, four years, that's not bad. That's an okay amount of growth, though they could, it could be better. Oh, there it is. There's the update. There's the somewhat raggedy looking thematophyllum bipinatifidum from four years ago. I still love this plant. One of my favorite house plants is because, I mean, what's not to love, right? You got those fun, neat looking leaves on them and then it just grows. I don't have to worry about it. It can be problematic when it comes to things like making sure to repot them and fertilize them, but otherwise it's been fine. Uh, I didn't mention in the springtime when I bring it out, it does get a top dress with some compost and some slow release, but I, looking at it, I think I probably should have repeated that back in, I would say July. Still a healthy plant, just needs a little bit of love. Fun plants, great to grow, easy to grow. You don't have to mess with them too much. It just 
got hit in the head by the umbrella. 10 out of 10 recommend. I have those care videos. I'll link all the old videos down below if you want to watch those. This was just, you know, th this was just the update. What's been going on with the plant and what it's not much, but it's done some growing. That's my favorite thing about this plant is actually that trunk. So repotting it would help emphasize that more, get more upward growth out of the plant. Oh no, my cactus. We'll have to fix that later. That is some strong one. Yeah, the stem's really pretty. I look forward to getting some more growth out of this and getting it repotted sometime, hopefully in the next few months. So there's the update slash the, no, I didn't kill it. Y'all know that us plant tubers, when we see somebody saying, do you have an update? What you're really asking is, did you kill it? No, it's still here. Nice try though. All right, hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going beautifully for you. Comment down below, favorite house plants, things you do with your, Thematophyllum, Bipinatifidums. Yeah, favorite varieties. I like the Lickety Split. I need to do an update on that one too. I'll probably do that when the plants have been moved inside, which will probably have happened by the time this video comes out. You'll be able to see that video or vlog wherever I have that posted. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye, bye.